Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning how to do a REST material chamfer operation. Uh, it's not an operation, it's actually a, an option within the pocket operation. And uh, I want to basically go back to my previous operation. The previous operation, if you actually select the left side of it, it's going to show you the toolpath. You're going to notice one thing, that there's a lot of paths that this tool is taking because of the small OD of the uh, end mill. Now, we want to expedite that for machining purposes, for time purposes. Well, we do, you definitely don't want it to be taking that many passes around this pocket. This is, this is about three steps down and about six or seven a tool path across before it machines the entire part. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this operation first because we're going to be using two pocket operations, one for... Uh, machining this surface uh, with a bigger tool and the second one is to just machine um, the the, pocket, the corners the chamfers and the areas that the first tool could not do but what that will do is will allow you to save a lot of time on machining instead of sitting here and watching this uh, operation take place for a very long time so first and foremost I'm gonna copy this operation right click on it edit and then just come over here and click on save and copy Okay, just click on simulate to make sure if you notice that uh, uh, the symbols over here, that means uh, that you have not calculated it yet. So just click on save and calculate and you will see it disappear and a blank box will appear. That means you're good on this uh, area. Click on exit. But let's go back to our previous operation and let's change it to a bigger tool. So I'm going to right click on it, click on edit. And let's change the tool to a half inch diameter. So select end mill and select a half inch diameter end mill and click on select. I'm going to move my operations dialog box and click on select. Save and calculate. It's going to ask you radius slash length will automatically set to maximum available and say OK since we are roughing and then click on save and simulate. Now if you press play it's going to go fairly quickly. And you're going to notice that it does not quite get all the corners and the radiuses, and especially not in between these corners. And the reason for that is because the tool will not go anywhere where it cannot fit. So because the area here and here is less than half an inch, the tool will only go as far as it can and it will stop. The corners, if you notice, are bigger than, than uh, they are in the model. That means that's all it could do. The tool will reach the maximum, uh, it will take the maximum amount of material as possible and it will stop. Okay, now that you have that done, click on X and click on Exit. Now what you want to do is come over here under the second one. The reason we copied it first is because we want to keep that same 0.2 inch diameter tool there because we know that one fits in between and around these pockets. So what I want to do is come over here, right click on it and go ahead and click on Edit. Come over here under technology, click on technology, and you're going to see a new, a new feature called uh, rest material chamfer. Now that feature has always been there, but we haven't used it yet. Okay, so whenever you use a big tool to first machine your entire, the most of your area, and the second pocket operation is your uh, smaller tool, you want to use the rest material chamfer. And this will allow you to machine the, the, whatever the rest of the material are in that operation. So click on rest, this, this, the rest options will appear, okay? Uh, come over here under milling type, you can go separate areas or around profile, we want separate areas since we do have more than just uh, you know, radiuses or chamfers. Uh, in previous tool, you can select previous tool and select the half inch end mill tool that we have in our first operation, in our first pocket operation, or you can type in half an inch over here. For the previous wall offset, we know that we did leave a 0 0.005 inch wall and uh, 5 thou basically of material left in the wall. So the tool will machine everything except uh, 0 0.005. And for the extension and the overlap, I want my tool to pass my corner with about 50 thou. Okay, now that you're done with that, click on save and calculate and then click on simulate. And now that you're done over here, I'm going to slow it down a little bit and then click on play. And then you're going to notice that your tool will only focus on the rest of the material. That's what rest is for. 
It only machines the rest of the material that is left from your previous operation. Okay, now that you have that done, click on X and then click on Exit. Now remember, even though you've done uh, the bigger tool and then the smaller tool, this is still only your roughing operation. You have not done any finishing yet. There is still 5,000 of material left on the walls uh, and around the pockets as well as on the floor that we want to make sure that we've machined. So that concludes our session for, the, for machining the rest of the material in this exercise.